All right, you guys, I just want to thank you for joining us. It is the last day of June. Um, can't believe it. It's going to be July already. I am Kim Danger. For those of you who don't know me, I am a part of Jacqueline's Dream Big, and so is Jessica. I am I'm a four-star diamond, five-star qualifying, so that's my goal is to, like, clinch that so I can go to leadership. So we all have our goals. But for me, it's been up and down for the last couple of months. So Jessica's a diamond coach. Soon Hi. To be, soon to be, soon be one star. star. Yes, yeah, so I got to button some things up on my, yeah. one of my emeralds. But yeah, so, um, yeah, and I'm the I lead team Beach Strong. So our awesome, small but mighty growing team. <laughs> we're all, we're small but mighty. Yes, soon to be big and mighty, right? Well, and I think you'll find when you listen to Kim and I, we're gonna we come from very different places, and that's there's two different reasons for that. We both have like a broad range of coaches on our team so we want to make sure when we do this call that we hit the coach who this is their very first ever team call mm -hmm. but we also want the content to be challenging and engaging for a coach who's going for a five-star diamond so we're gonna there will be things for some of you that you're like i'm not ready for that totally mm -hmm. fine right mm -hmm. you're not ready for a marketing plan but you just need to know how to create an invite then you Take some of that information for later and throw it in the memory bank and then channel your energy into um, the one, the thing that you pick up on. If you're a coach that's got you know, consistent success club points and you want more challenging content, then ask us and we'll bring it, right? So we're going to try to hit a wide range of stuff. So don't feel overwhelmed by any of the content. And if you, if you are a coach that's leading a strong team, jump in. You know, we love it when our group participates because that gives us time to drink our wine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and if you guys are new to these, these Zoom calls, there's a chat button at the bottom that you can click on. So if you have any questions and we're babbling and we've, we've given you room to speak, please type something into the chat bar so we don't forget that you have a question. And just going back to what Jessica said about being overwhelmed because – I remember being a new coach and just like the onslaught of information that you're giving is that you're given is so overwhelming. You're like, you don't know what to do with it. There's just too much of it. So what I always try to tell my new coaches is it all comes down to the vital behaviors. And if you get those down, you're doing those consistently, then you can add things on as you're ready and able to do that. But the foundation, if you are not working on your own personal development, your own fitness, your own clean eating, you really have nothing to offer other people. Right. So it comes down to that. And then from there, you can branch out to inviting. But yeah, those you are it. That, yeah. that's it. Like that's your foundation. And then as, as you have more time, and a lot of us don't have a lot of time, but seriously, if all you do is an invite all month long, that's really all you need to do to hit success club. It's that easy. And there are two critical mistakes I made when I first started off. And I, I didn't share a lot about my personal journey. I was very behind the scenes with it. So I was loving the product. I mean, I would sign up as a coach two weeks after signing up as a challenger. And it was like something I never wanted to do, didn't think I had time to do. So I shared that I could offer this, but I shared nothing about what it was doing for me personally. I didn't really share selfies at all on my public Facebook page, even though I was consistently doing them mm -hmm. in the challenge group, that was a private and safe area. So it was just, I, and I also didn't make my goals public. So I'm listening to that book by, uh, better, better than before. Oh yeah. And she mm -hmm. said, there's just two types of people, the private goal and the public goal. And now I feel like you know, when I put on Facebook, I'm going to run a marathon. It's like, I can't not, like, everyone knows I'm doing this today. Like, I can't just crawl over to the side yeah. of the road and die. We all need it, though. Really <laughs> <laughs> so when you make your goals public, and, and I'm still mm -hmm. hesitating because it's a goal of mine to be a two-star by the end of the year, by 1231. So, like, mm -hmm. I need to just, you know, put that on my Facebook yeah. page. Most people aren't going to remember it, but they're going to acknowledge that I have goals too. I have things that I'm working on. Mm -hmm. I still have five pounds I want to lose. So that's, you know, I guess as I say it out loud, I'm thinking I need to practice what I preach, right? Like mm -hmm. I, I don't want to try to make it look easy for anybody because it's not, and you don't need a, you don't need a transformation story. No. In fact, 
I think people enjoy watching the journey more than they enjoy seeing pictures of a fit person. Because I think mm -hmm. if they see someone who's so fit, it's discouraging. Like that, right. That's not a bad thing, but if you're going through it and you're going, God, oh my gosh, it's so hard not to eat this ice cream or to do whatever. Mm -hmm. Or um, I did a Snapchat picture the other day. I was just kind of pointing at this little soft spot <laughs> I had. I was like, yep, had ice cream last night. I mean, people need to know yeah. that I break down and do all the things that they're afraid they can't do. Yeah. And so, they want to know that you're real Yeah, and that like, okay, I can't even believe that I said that I'm almost five star because in my mind, I'm like, I'm just where you guys are. Like I just, re last year I was an Emerald coach mm -hmm. and it's just through hard work and consistency that I've come to be in this position right now. It's not any magic formula or anything like, like that, you guys. And it's been a roller coaster. Like I hit diamond and I lost it because I had coaches that quit and it took me like months to get that back. Yeah. And I'm still like, and I think that's something that top coaches don't talk about enough is what a roller coaster ride it is. So you might be at Emerald and you're, you're like, oh my God, Diamond is so far away. And then you get so close to Diamond and you have coaches oh, quit yeah. and then you have to like do it all over again. And it's really, really, really frustrating. So, But that's kind of why that. we do it, I think. <laughs> I was thinking about this the other day. Like, I don't enjoy, people always like, why do you run? I'm like, I don't enjoy it, but I'm a metal, I'm a metal chaser. Like all I want is like third place in the Johnson's Farm 5K. <laughs> I don't care if there's like four people running it. Like I want the third place medal. You beat out that score. Right. Place. And I always joke like I never stand a chance if the age group is 30 to 39. But if it's 35 to 39, I got a shot. I know. And, but it yeah. is like I have come in like fourth by seven seconds before. And mm -hmm. it is such an emotional roller coaster. But I'm like. If, if I did get third, would I just quit riding? <laughs> would it be fun anymore? So oh, part yeah. of the chasing mm -hmm. the diamond or the emerald or whatever it is you're chasing, it is fun. It is frustrating, but mm -hmm. you just keep doing it like for whatever reason. I mean, yeah, it's socially and financially rewarding. So those are two major reasons. Right. So. And I think both you and I are driven by competition, mm -hmm. but we also have to realize that there are other coaches on our, our teams that are driven by acknowledgement and support and things like that. And so for me, it's a little bit of a challenge to mentor other coaches that aren't so competitive as right. I am. So I, that is something that I'm working on in my own growth process right now. But speaking of recognition, yes, let's do some of that's that. That's a good segue. I didn't even plan that. So I'm going to share my screen here because I do have a little bit of, oh my gosh, if I can pull it up here. Um, I created a graphic for my success club people. And well, I I'm going to send you mine next month then. <laughs> All right. Well, and this is cool. I just, I learned that I could run these programs through my coach online office. So this is my Beach Ready Now team. These are the women Ooh. that um, have accomplished SC 5 and 10 and on the board for June so far. And I know that we do have a few that are still working on hitting it tonight. And you guys, if you're listening to this call and you're not at SC 5 yet, you should probably just log off and work on that and come back just and listen, listen to the listen recording. Listen while you're texting people. Yeah. So I got to give a shout out to Anita Taylor, who is um, – soon to be diamond um i know that she still has a few coaches left but she has come on strong and she is at sc20 right now and i also have on this report their their position in the leadership ladder which i won't get into right now but that's an also that's also a really important gauge of how your business is going so we've got constance yeager i hope i'm saying your name right Connie, I don't know if you go by Connie or Constance, but um, she's a new Emerald as of today, and she's at SC14. Mm -hmm. Of course, we've got a few more that are at SC5, and a few more on the bottom that are um, still on the board and hopefully going to be hitting it. I think Christine said she hit it, so she had messaged me today. But um, So awesome. yeah, Jessica, let me stop my screen share so you yes. can give your team some love, too. So we have... Um Lindsay, who is completely motivated by the free t-shirt they were giving away this month. <laughs> she, she's probably had the ability to go dime whenever she wanted, but they added an extra t-shirt. So sweet. And, and these were her words to me. She Did you like, tell her you would like buy her a t-shirt anyway? No, it's not the same. Carl has to buy the t-shirt. Okay. Right? Yep. And so here's the best part is, I get a t-shirt too! Yay! Yay! <laughs> so, um, so this is what she told me at the beginning of the month. Mm -hmm. 
the apron from, I think it was April, <laughs> still in the box, <laughs> but I'm going for that t-shirt. So I do, yeah. I get excited about the little prizes. Too. This is kind of genius. Body, it really beach is. body business. My but, husband makes so much fun of me because he's like, Beachbody knows how to play you like a fiddle. <laughs> and it's so yeah. true because I want that free apron that I'll never wear. Right. <laughs> I want the prize. Totally so whatever it. keeps you motivated to hit success, club, do it. So congratulations, yeah. Lindsay, who's a new diamond. That's super exciting. Yeah. And Liz Lindsay, I really don't like sharing my place at the top oh, of the yeah. board with you. I've been joking about just Kim's been that. sending me texts like telling <laughs> and you and Oh, good. But you know what? I'm super competitive. So I'm like, wait a minute. Who is this girl, Lindsay? Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. So but it's awesome. I think you're awesome, Lindsay. So way to we go. are going to, like I said last time, we're going to rope you into a call. That's right. You know she, what you're doing. We can get her here. She's promised to visit. So we can get her here for a live call. We'll dress her up and make her run with us, too. She'll do that, too. Okay. Um, and then I believe I have new coaches uh, from Beach Strong. So I think, Amy, if you're on the call, I can't see <laughs> oh. Amy is on the call, I think, joining us. And if there's anybody else from Beach Town, just pop, pop your name in the chat and I'll give you a shout out. So we just want to make sure we do that because um, every point on that leaderboard counts, right? It doesn't matter if it's one Shakeology order or one Success Club order. And that one point is going to get you excited and fuel your fire mm -hmm. to get three more the next month and five more the next month. So it is really just get like kind of breaking the ice, if you will, that it's just like, Oh my God, I did it. I got the one. And then I, I promised the rest of it seems yeah. easy after that. It's Absolutely. never easy, but it seems a little more manageable. Yeah, so. for sure. And SC five, that should be your goal every month. You guys, like it is not that hard. Do not get overwhelmed. Like I said, like just dial it back. If you're not at SC five, all you really need to be doing with your business is inviting putting yourself out there, being proof that everything works, you're doing the programs, you're drinking the shakes, and then inviting and sharing. Beyond that, then if you're at SC5, then you can kind of move on and start learning new things. But really, SC5 is where it all starts. And if you are a new coach, um, your first three months, if you hit SC5, your first three full months in a row, you will earn a ticket to Summit, which is our big party every year. And I, I do want to talk a little bit about Summit later on in the call because July is a huge recruiting month because people see that we're going to Summit. Mm -hmm. They see how much fun we're having. They see all the stuff that's going on. And even if you cannot make it to Summit yourself, I know a lot of you are not, either because you're new or you know it just doesn't work out, you can still be using Summit, Summit to leverage your business building um, activities and it's just by sharing what is going on with our team and I will be hosting a summit five-day group when I'm there I'll be gone from the Wednesday through the Sunday it's the last of five days in the month but I will be including like all my pictures all my stories all this stuff and I want everyone to share what I've shared with yeah, all of you so you can tag whoever you want you can say oh this is my one of my team members you know like this is how much fun they're having can't wait to go next year even if you're not there you can be using that to leverage your own coaching opportunity last year when I came to summit I had no idea how cool it was but then people saw what I was posting and I recruited coaches like crazy after that so it really does um, spark your business people see how excited you are and that energy is contagious so actually it's the end of july it is july 28th through 31st th yeah 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 and really and I'll, I'll be very honest about myself personally i had only been in the business two months um when i saw these people going to summit and i'm like i i'm never going to do that it's never going to be interesting to me i've got this mm -hmm. full-time job i need to stay on vacation for stuff around the house and I got the um, success starters mm -hmm. by getting success club my first three months. So I was like, okay, you know, I'll think about going to summit. And just as the year went on, I just was like, Oh my God, I cannot wait now to yeah. go to summit. Like my mindset totally changed. The pictures didn't do anything for me last year. Really? Like watch me. It just was, and I was already a coach, but I was like, yeah. eh, I don't want to do that. And then I went to my first Super Saturday, and that really turned it on. For, so the week after we get back from Summit is Super Saturday. So we can't get to Summit, Super Summit. You can get to Super Saturday. So I know Phoenix yeah. has one. I know Kansas City has one. I think Minneapolis. Minneapolis has mm -hmm. one. I know St. Louis has a small one. So there 
if you're near a city of any kind, if you live in North Dakota, we might, you, might have to, you might have to work for it. But in general, there's going to be a Super Saturday. With yeah. We drove north of Minneapolis, which was close to two hours. Yeah. And we went two nights, two days in a row. Like, it was exhausting, but it, but was, it like, was worth it. Yeah, we got, we got to, to meet Sigi. Yeah, we got a private Friday night um, Q&A with Sigi, and then we drove back Saturday morning for yeah. the rest of the activity. Super cool. So, okay. okay, moving in. So with that, I am going to share a little bit about creating a July marketing calendar because, you know, I, I know we have a lot of new coaches and they probably don't know that there really is a rhyme and reason to when we schedule our groups and our coaching sneak peeks and all that type of thing. So I'm going to pull up the calendar that I just created. Um, hang on here a second, you guys. Okay. So, and I know a lot of you said that you're visual people, so hopefully this kind of helps make it clear for you. And I'll just kind of explain why I'm doing the things that I'm doing. So today, Thursday, I've got on there the last day of the June promo. So the last day that we have our promotions on sale, I am always, always doing like a last call post. I sent out an email today through my coach online office about this is your last chance for the June promotions. So, you know, a lot of people just love the 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme. So I'm trying to sell 21 day fix extreme to those that already love 21 day fix because it gives them something to shoot for, even if they're not quite ready for it yet. If they're gonna be buying another bag of Shakeology, they might as well spend $10 more and get extreme. It gives them something to shoot for. So that, it was kind of the gist of my messaging that I do today. So Friday the 1st, I have our new coach training, and honestly, that group is just opening up right now. Assignments won't start until next Tuesday, but I, I'm kind of advertising for that to start the first of the month, just so if anyone's on the fence about signing up as a coach, hopefully I can get that success club point converted in the month of June, because I, I'm one that I never like to leave points out on the board. If I've got people that are prospects, I don't like to roll them over into the next month. I know we have some people that do that. Me. <laughs> and that's because totally I'm fine. always so nervous I won't make it the following. And that's totally <laughs> fine. But I'm one that I'm like, I like to start the month with a blank slate as much as it scares the bejesus out of me. It motivates me. And so I like to give every month my all and just see what I can do the next month. So that's why I have the new coach training as the first so, okay, another thing that I like to do, I like to start two challenge groups every month. Um, some coaches only do one, but I like to get a lot of new customers into my business. And I also run challenge groups with my team. So if I only did one a month, that group would be so full and so packed and I'd have people waiting to get in. I never like to have people wait more than a week or so to get into a challenge group because if they have the program and they're excited to start, you don't want them to lose that energy. You want to get them going as soon as possible. So normally I start those on a Monday, but with the July 4th holiday, we've got summer sweat starting on Tuesday the 5th. Um, some of my other coaches were doing the badass boot camp again, but there will be a challenge group for people to start on the fifth. And then twice a month, I've just started doing this twice a month instead of once, once a month, I do a coaching sneak peek day. And I know a lot of coaches do like a three day or a five day, but for me, I feel like if it's, if it's within the confines of one day, that's usually enough for them. They can always go and look back on the posts if they miss them. But I, I run that group at least a couple times a month because for me, it's just as important, if not more important, to be recruiting coaches to my team as challengers. And that's something that in the last year, my focus has changed a little bit because when I started as a new coach, I had no, I had nobody. So it made sense to get them into challenge groups so that they could see what the challenge groups were like first and then convert those people to coaches if they wanted to continue on. So as I'm standing right now in my business, I have a lot of challengers. So I am working harder to get them onto my team as coaches. Mm -hmm. So that is one of the reasons why I have two of those coaching sneak peeks instead of one. And if you're a coach on my team, um, even if you're not, like if you're with Jessica or someone else, contact me. And I, you know, and I know Jacqueline, a lot of her coaches are probably listening in. 
one of us will always have a coaching sneak peek. So if you have someone interested in coaching, there's always an opportunity to get them to learning more about the opportunity. Yeah, even if they haven't signed up as a challenger yet, because I think, Amanda, you have someone in mind that you're like, oh my God, she'd be so good. Mm -hmm. That's the time where you go, just sit in on this. One day, you know, and I do like to lead the, if you're um, working with someone, I do like to lead with a phone call and say, this is why I made the decision. This is why I love it. And these are the things I see you doing that, that intrigue me and think you'll make a great coach. But you know what? I want you to hear from someone else too. I think that's a great way for me to say it. That's like, great. And I encourage people to, um, you know, especially if they're a friend of mine, which most of mine is more market. I'm like, follow some other coaches on Instagram so you can see how they market, right? Because it reminds me of your style and how you can use it. They're going to, there's, we're still going to connect on that level. But um, if it's in your cold market, I wouldn't be sending them to other famous coaches. So you have to, you have to know your market well enough to know that. But yeah, if it's somebody who's not even a challenger yet, mm -hmm. but you think they could be a good coach and I actually have two people I might invite to the next sneak peek because I think they're right up there yeah. with that. Um, so yeah, so don't be afraid. Like it has to be somebody that you're converting right. to get them to go to the sneak peek. Well, and don't be afraid, afraid to invite too, because if someone came to you and said, I thought you, I think you would be a great coach. You would be flattered. Wouldn't you? Like, I remember I was waiting. I was actually I a little disappointed that like no one was talking to me personally about it. And then I reached out to my coach and yeah, they're like, well, I think I want to do it. And they're like, oh yeah, you'd be great at it. And I'm like, well, well, it means more if they come to you. Yes, it does. So don't be afraid that you're like insulting them. I have a girl. <laughs> she's trick away. I know. Me, right? I fall behind to the top. <laughs> I have a girl that's a discount coach right now. And I, I always mess with her. I'm like, Hey Amber, it's just your bi-weekly reminder that I think you'd be a great coach. And she, <laughs> I mean, she plays along with me and she's like, okay, well, I'll talk to you in two weeks about it. But yeah. she keeps going into the challenge group. She keeps, she's consistent with the program, which Kim said it earlier. Mm -hmm. That is all you need to be a coach. Mm -hmm. Do your program, drink your shake. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be an extrovert. You don't need to be an introvert. You don't need to be a blogger. Mm -hmm. You need to take care of yourself because that's all you're teaching people how to do is take right. care of themselves. That is right. literally the only skill that you need is the ability to consistently follow a program, work out, drink your shake. Well, one more thing though. You do? You do. You thing? have to, you have to share that because oh, if, yeah, you're, you if, you're, <laughs> if you're keeping it to <laughs> yourself, statement. nobody will know. And so the, the main difference from transitioning from a challenger to a coach is you're just making it more public. Mm -hmm. You're doing what you're doing within a challenge group, probably on your own Facebook profile or a Facebook group or a Facebook like page, but that's really the only difference. That is, yeah, that's the add on and you have to be willing to share yeah. that. And bit. people watch you, even if they don't like and comment, they will see what you're doing and they will search you out as long as you stay consistent. If they see you do it for two weeks, fall off the bandwagon, come back two months later, fall off again. They, they're not going to trust you. So it is really important to stay consistent with that. I have made the decision that I, I said, if you were on the busy moms call, this is a repeat statement, but we're at, I'm at that phase in my life where everyone's dog is dying. <laughs> if, if they can post about their dead dog, I can post about fitness <laughs> and we, we will all agree mm -hmm. to be fine with each other's posts because I think we hesitate to put mm -hmm. things out there because it would be annoying. I see tons of annoying stuff out there. Yeah. It doesn't bother them to put it out there. Well, like speaking of annoying. <laughs> well, I mean like, if somebody wants to post about every jerk in traffic, fine. It's yeah. your Facebook feed. You do whatever you want with it. Mm -hmm. I have not blocked one single person because I think their posts are annoying. Mm -hmm. Whether they're, I have people on um, Facebook that I knew from high school that do plexus now. I'm not blocking them. Let yeah. them do their thing. It's not my thing, right? Mm -hmm. I, I have people that really do post annoying stuff. <laughs> but, you know, it just keeps rolling. Let them post away. Yeah. So, like, you just need to be fine. The people who were, will ignore it are just going to ignore it. But think about all the people who will scroll and stop on you. Yeah, because they need to see that message at the time that you post it. There are so many people out there that are searching for what you have to offer. You have to tell yourself that. Like, if you don't post, they might see someone else post something about Plexus or mm -hmm. Thrive or any of those things. And, you know, we don't want them to go with those. Not that there's anything wrong with other, other fitness but, solutions. But there is. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Because if you, you know what I mean, like if you, you can lose weight without working out or eating healthy, I would be scared of that. I know. 
All right. Okay. okay. So let's move on here. So another thing that is really important to put on your, um, your marketing calendar, especially as a new coach is a free group. And I am not, I don't do as many free groups as I used to, but when I first started, I did tons of free groups because like it groups. really helped me build my client list base very quickly and very rapidly. And that's a way of gaining trust with people. They see what a challenge group is. It's your chance to really shine and be a rock star and show them what you have to offer without them having to commit to a program. So I will give you a couple pieces of advice based on what I did wrong when I did my first free groups. Do not do a 30 day free group people because that you are shooting yourself in the foot you're giving them for free what they should be paying for because your time is valuable and I don't want you to undercut what you're doing. So I would do a five to seven day free group. That is long enough for them to get a taste of what you're doing and then you can focus the rest of your energy that month towards people that are highly invested in what you have to offer. Do not sell yourself short. Too, many, too often women put themselves on sale. Men would never do that, right? Right. Yeah. So anyway, my advice, do a five to seven day, maybe a 10 day, but no more than 10 day. So what I'm going to do, I'm planning on doing a seven day um, Beachbody On Demand sampler. And technically, Beachbody On Demand, I don't know if you'd call it free. You can sign up for a free 30 day trial. But then after that, they do have to pay for it. So what I like about that type of challenge group is it exposes them to our programs and all the beach, all that Beachbody has to offer. But at the end of the 30 days, if they decide not to continue on, they have not invested a penny. Right. So and technically it's, it's free. Cancel. And for the Beach Strong Girls, I have uh, created a document where you can see it's not as pretty as this one. <laughs> it's just a Word document where I just put the thoughts down before they fly out of my head from here to December on potential groups that we can run. For, and uh, I, do, I would like to do a seven day free group in July because it does warm people up for August, which is to generally a slower, the start of the slow season. So um, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll go over that with our group in um, our next team call. Right. And one thing I want you guys to notice is the seven day free group runs right into a paid group. And by paid group, I mean, okay, I'm calling it Miracle Morning. This is based on that, oh gosh, what's his name? El, El, I don't know. You guys know what I'm talking about. I can't think I've of I've heard of Miracle Morning. Though. Yeah, so it's a book that we're all reading. And um, so they're really great takeaways from this book. I'm going to look up his name here too. Hal Elrod is the author. And so to me, it would just make a really great challenge group because it's all about getting your most effective work and personal development done early in the morning so it sets the tone for your entire day. So that's kind of the theme of the challenge group that'll start on the 25th. So all during that week where I'm doing the free group, I'm gonna be teasing these people that you know, hey, if you like this group, we're gonna be doing the Miracle Morning starting on July 25th. So it's kind of a psychological thing. If they're enjoying it, they're having fun, they're gonna to wanna to continue. They'll see the value in it and hopefully they would decide to invest in a challenge pack if they enjoy it. So that's why the free group always comes the week before the 30 day group. So then you'll notice again on the calendar, I've got the summit five day sneak peek. So that starts on the 27th. That is the day I'll be getting to summit. I'm actually gonna be taking the country heat live certification course which um, I think will be interesting. I'm not a country music fan by any means. I'm kind of laughing as I say this, but I signed up for it. But I think as a coach, it will do me great service by learning the moves, being able to be there and take pictures, learn more about the fundamentals of the hey. workout and all that kind of stuff. So that's, um, let's see, does someone have a question here? Somebody was on mute. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to be doing that on Wednesday and then I, the rest of the week of summit, I'll just be taking tons and tons of pictures of the celebrity trainers, the workouts, the sessions, all that. So I'll be inviting everybody either if they're a client or a coach or just someone who's interested to that little sneak peek. And then I think Beachbody has August 1st as the official launch date of country heat. 
but I'm kind of guessing that they might release it early because Summit will be over by People the first. So it'll come out that, that last week in July, I'm guessing. So be hyping Country Heat all month long. There is a sneak peek on the 18th on Beachbody On Demand. So do the workout, take goofy pictures of yourself doing the workout, talk about it. What you want to be doing ahead of time is just generating interest in this new workout, even if you don't like country music. Well, and remember, <laughs> this is like size, right? So I, what size oh. did does for a lot of people is get their confidence going. Mm -hmm. So for people who have never worked out, but they have tried Zumba or something like that, mm -hmm. then I do recommend size and I let them warm up to the idea and then they're like okay i think i'm ready for a bigger challenge and that's when i transition into a 21 day fix type program mm -hmm. so now you can actually work the initial challenge pack sale with size and then transition into maybe like a discount program sale with 21 day fix once they've realized they can consistently do a program like size and it's not as hard as they're making it out to be right for sure okay well, ladies i got a quick question for you Go ahead. Um, when they had the country heat preview, just, uh, I don't know, was it last week or something like that? Yeah. I tried, I tried to view it, but you have to have, it said that you had to sign up brand new then, but I already had an account, so I didn't get to view it. Oh, do you have the club membership, Beachbody? Yeah. Okay. Yes. So they, had, they had one day where it was available, and if you missed that window of opportunity, you probably were not able to preview it. Okay. I remember they had one in the beginning, um, and then they just had one recently, but it says for new signups only. I was like, man, what about us? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. I'm not you quite sure. to do it on yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, I don't know okay. about that. No, it was available um, on, what is it called, Challenge Day Jour or whatever they call it. It yeah. was fine. Like, you kind of had to dig for it, mm -hmm. but it was under under that. Oh, I guess. maybe that, maybe, yeah, maybe was you it, were just looking in the wrong spot, Lisa. Was I'm it after sure. the whole week, Lindsay, or just that one day? It was just one day. One day, okay. Yeah, I put it on my calendar. I was so excited to go do it, um, well, whatever. You'll get another chance. It's you all good. Know. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's really, it is an easy workout, so if you guys are used to harder workouts, you're probably going to think, ah, oh, you know. But it is but, a, it is important, and I I have done a couple of the oh, sorry yeah. a couple of the size workouts just so that I know mm -hmm. what to talk about, like or the one that they had chili in, like just go do that. I mean, it's mm -hmm. thirty minutes. We like working out anyway. Right. So it's something where I'd be like, I just worked out with chili from TLC. <laughs> That's going to attract people that are afraid of 21 day fix. Right. So yeah. you're just attracting a different, and I think this is Beachbody's attempt post slim and six to try mm -hmm. to make people that aren't, you know, 30 and rebounding from a baby mm -hmm. be, you know, if this is my mom, I might be like, why don't you try country? Heat? I don't know. My, mm -hmm. I can't see my mom doing country, heat, but you guys get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Like it's right. something that's a beginner work workout, more comfort with. Yeah. Okay. So, so just one quick question. So on beach body demand, I have noticed, and we had some questions going on on the, the dream big page, but nobody really ever answered if they were having issues with it. So when I first started back in um, December or whatever with my club membership, you had kind of the preview of like the big program, so you could preview size, you could preview Pio. Hey, um, Lindsay, the answer to that is the phone app, for whatever reason, doesn't have those. Oh, so it's Which, off the phone app. Well, it was on there before, so they just removed it? I don't know if they just removed it or it's an app glitch. It, honestly, it might be an app glitch, because I have a Roku stick and I, I can sneak peek at everything. And if you do it from your laptop, you can- It's still there. So it's just something with the with the iPhone app that you can't okay. do the sneak peeks on. Hmm. Okay. So it still exists. I, I when you asked that question, I didn't have the answer, and so I went and tried it from a few places, then never responded. Oh, it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> what did you say you have? You have a what? A Roku stick. Honestly, what the heck is that? I, need to, I need to post this in my group. They're forty dollars. You can get them from Sam's Club, but you can stream Netflix, Hulu, whatever, and Beachbody has an app specially made for Roku or Chromecast, and it is just so much easier than trying to log in from a smart TV. It just mm -hmm. pop, like I need to work out from a giant TV. I couldn't do it from my laptop, so mm -hmm. the Roku is in my basement. Well, and what I do, I just have an HDMI cable that 
plugs into my laptop. Yeah. So I pull it up on my laptop, plug in the HDMI, and then I can see it on my big screen. Right. right that's what I do. Okay. Yeah. That's what most people do, Jessica. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Like my Roku. So I don't have Roku. Laptop, <laughs> but yeah, Roku, Chromecast, or if you have an Apple TV, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. And then you don't have to mess with the discs or anything. And I think maybe they have they're on the Fire Stick now too. But anyway, the app is awesome. Yeah. So okay. Okay. Any other questions on the editorial calendar and like the reasoning behind it before we move on? Okay, if not, I'm going to stop my screen share, and then I'm going to let Jessica talk a little bit about follow-ups and just, like, wording and creating strong wording, because yeah. she's really good at that. So I'm going back to basics. So Kim kind of took us to that level of, like, you're trying to build a strong team. You've got, um, you know, you guys know this, Kim blogs. She gets prospects from all over the place, so she has to bring them in, whereas I work almost entirely within my warm market. So... Um, a lot of the work that I do is on relationship building. And, I, and I've said this in my busy moms call, like I do hover around 10 to 12 because it's like, then I feel confident that I can follow up and stay mm -hmm. in touch with those people. Um, and confident that I still have some bodies warm for the following <laughs> month success club. So you work at the pace that is comfortable for you at a minimum of success club five. Like mm -hmm. there is no reason why three people should be overwhelming to anybody. Mm -hmm. If you're coaching, you can get three people signed up and you can do it consistently. I know you can, like you guys would not be in this, on this call if you didn't have confidence in yourself that you can do it. So we're just right. going to give you a little tips on how to do it. So the first thing I want to go over is forming. So forming is a marketing acronym that stands for family, occupation, recreation. What's the other M? What's message. It? message? Then, then you deliver your message. Yes, you deliver your message. That. Right. So... It is, hey girl, loved your vacation pics. Where did you go? Oh, we went to Cancun. Oh, do you always go to Mexico? And you just turn that into a conversation. And then they're going to look at your page. You cannot, somebody cannot message you without you going and looking at their page. I mean, I dare you to not look at somebody's profile who comments or likes or whatever. Because I do it all the time. I'm like, ooh, this person messaged me. On Instagram, I do it a lot. Like anybody who likes me, like, I'm going to go check them out. So then they go check you out. Now it's time for them to see consistency in your fitness posts and your Shakeology or whatever. They may or may not talk to you about it. And if they don't, move on, right? Like you don't need to bring it up if it's somebody that you are not comfortable with. But mm -hmm. it is so hard to have a conversation with somebody who just went on vacation without them going, Oh, I overindulged. I need, mean, <laughs> and especially if they see that you're a fitness person, I love this fitness person. Yes. They're, they're going to like guiltily confess their sins to you. Yes, like, they do that. Vacation that was too. so fun, but I was so bad with my, with my health or nutrition or diet or whatever. And you're like, Oh girl, I know how that works. That's why I do 21 day fix. <laughs> and, and then you kind of spin it to, but you know what I do is I take a break from the meal plan when I go on vacation and mm -hmm. then I hit it hard when I get back and they're like, Oh, you know, and then they're connecting the dots. Oh, you can live a life. Mm -hmm. but you can be diligent most of the time. So you just start dropping the bread. This is Kim's term, like leaving the breadcrumbs mm -hmm. and they might totally back away from you. But at that point, that's when I, I've told you I use streak for Gmail. Kim uses Teamsy. I go into streak and I leave myself a little no. Mm -hmm. Started talking about trip in Mexico, follow up in two weeks. Be like, Hey, you know what? We were talking about this last time. And mm -hmm. I just realized that 21 day fix would be a great option for what you were talking yeah. about. Or, you know, I know you had, um, bad knees. I wanted to tell you about Pio. It's something that really helped me when I was having knee problems or whatever, you know, you'll yeah. find a way to bring it back and let them know that it's on sale. And, and I also like the strategy of not doing it right away. Yeah. Because then it doesn't seem like that was the only reason that you contacted them. And that just makes everyone feel icky and salesy. And that's really not what we're about. Mm -hmm. But if you're truly connecting with them out of a place of integrity about their vacation photos, their cute baby photos, whatever the case may be, then maybe you revisit the conversation a week or two later. Then it doesn't seem awkward and weird. Yeah, I put a lot of space between some of my conversations, and some of that is selfish because I'm busy and I've got other people to follow mm -hmm. up with, and some of it is strategic. And I'm like, oh my God, I cannot wait to follow up with this person, but I do give it some breathing yeah. room, right? So now let's say we've gotten to that point where they're like, oh my God, that looks great. I just, 
can't find the motivation or I can't find the money or I don't know if I really want to, then you don't wait a week or two, right? Mm -hmm. Now they are way warmer than you think. So they're saying like, well, I just don't know if that means yes, mm -hmm. but you need to convince me that I can do it. Right. Mm -hmm. So that if is their self doubt that they'll spend money on themselves and then drop the ball. So you have to jump in with the confidence factor, right? And that's mm -hmm. what a lot of times people really need to hear is that you'll be by their side. These are the tools. That's where I really sell the challenge group. And the challenge group is tough. And if you can use past challengers to promote challenge groups on your like page or to their friends or whatever, it, like I'll be like, hey, you know, your sister has reached out to me. Mm -hmm. And I would love it if you would tell her what the challenge group did for you because that's the one part you can't commit. Like somebody, when I bought T25, so I was like, well, hurry up so I can get you in tomorrow's group. I'm like, I don't care about the group. Just <laughs> send me my package, right? Mm -hmm. And then I realized it was the group that was the magic for me. So mm -hmm. um, make sure that you can work that. Yes, you can, right? So now you've gone from maybe a week or two in between follow-up. So you've brought up the product. They didn't completely shoot you down, which sometimes if they just say no, like that's fine. You know, mm -hmm. you can move on or, but generally people don't want to say no, they'll say not right now, or I'm not sure. So those are two very different statements. So let's go with the, I'm not sure. So then you maybe give them a day or two. And I put some language in my team page the other day, but I want to reiterate it with some context. So, you give them a, a two or three days and you follow back and you're like, Hey, Michelle, I know we talked about 21 day fix and I just want you to know, I am so excited for you. I know that you can do this. Are you excited to get the goals that we talked about? So I, I do um, encourage my team to always ask tons of questions. Talk very little about the product. It's not necessary. I mean, when you ask them questions, a lot of times people will tell, you know, when I say, what you like to do and they say I really love Pilates, I'm gonna introduce them to Pio. Right? I just want them to get into a product that they love. If they say, I don't know, I've never worked out a day in my life, I'm probably gonna introduce them to 21 Day Fix because it's got a it's day of everything. Mm -hmm. And if they're like, I hate working out, I did enjoy dance in college or high school, I'm gonna introduce them to size, right? And most people will be like, you're the expert, you tell me, right? Mm -hmm. They want you to make that decision for them, but you have to work on getting them excited. So some of the language I would I will use is, hey, it's been a while since we did our free group, or it's been a while since the we last talked about this. Are you ready to commit? I know how excited you are. I know that you have these big goals for yourself. So are you ready to commit is a significant statement for someone, right? Because then they know they have to make a decision because you don't want somebody to join that's wishy-washy anyway because right. they will fall off and then you'll just feel bad, right? So um, are you ready to commit? Are you ready to get back on track? This is follow-up that I use for challengers who've gotten quiet, who I think are potential discount coaches because they started out strong. Or are you excited to get started with us next week? And what's significant there is you've given them a firm date. So it's a, this weekend, it's touch and go, right? People might be on their phones all weekend because it's a holiday, or they might be boating all weekend, right? So you can drop some breadcrumbs tomorrow, Friday, and then you can kind of gauge where people are at, right? So let's say somebody is like, oh my God, you know, I, it's hard for me to think about for this weekend. And I'm going to say, look, this is what I want to leave you with but we have a new group starting Tuesday mm -hmm. and you can totally order your kit on Monday or Tuesday and get it in time to start the workouts with us the following week. Then you follow up Monday night, right? Mm -hmm. They're, they're, they're depressed over how much <laughs> they hate or drink. Actually Tuesday because Monday night is fireworks for a lot of oh, people. So, yeah. That's yeah right. that's so always point. keep that in mind, but yeah. With the holiday. Yeah. So you can follow up Tuesday morning and be like, I want to get you out of the group today. The assignments mm -hmm. are starting. I know you're excited, right? So having, a date and a deadline, I think, means a lot. And Kim is right. I like that our challenge groups in the Dream Big page go every two weeks because if you can't get somebody in within a week of ordering, then they're either going to start without the support of the challenge group, they're not going to take before and after photos, they're going to miss preseason, which I think is so important, or they're going to lose interest and let that kit sit there. So mm -hmm. having a firm date tied to when you start, when you have that conversation, our next group starts the fifth. How excited are you? 
right? Like I know about your goals and I cannot wait to help you lose the last 15 pounds of baby weight because you know this about them because you were forming, right? So it can't be cold. You have to be engaged in their goals and keep track of it, which is why we recommend some sort of system. Right, yeah. right. And you, you always have to tie it back to their why and try to find out why they are motivated to make a change. And if you have any personal connection with their why, you have to use that to relate to them. Like that, I'm trying to think which coach said, there's feel, felt, and found. So if you take how they feel, I feel the same way. I found that this worked for me. And that type of line of conversation is really effective because you're showing that you can relate to them and then you're offering a solution based on what you've, you've found out for yourself. So No, that's extremely important. And I think you guys know this about me. 99.9% .9 of my challengers are moms that are within a year or two of having a baby and they're at frustration point. How easy is that for me to relate to, yeah. right? That doesn't mean I want to disconnect with people who aren't in that situation. So I use other people who are successful in a different stage of their life. So I actually I do very well. Um, with people who have autoimmune disorders, digestive issues, significant digestive issues like IBS, or I even have a recent challenger who's got great success with migraines from Shakeology. Mm -hmm. So a lot of time a medical need is a great platform, right? Where you can be like, Hey, I would love to connect you with my friend, Susie, who also has lupus. And I, I think that mm -hmm. you would really connect with the success that she's had. So sometimes it's something that I can't personally connect to, but I'm fortunate that I had a, a challenger who's had great success and that's willing to share their story. So um, yeah, getting into their story so they don't feel like, wow, she's not just trying to tell me something. Like she remembered that I have lupus. And again, those are things you have to pay attention to and connect with people on because those, those things dominate someone's life. As much as being overweight, as much as lacking confidence, of a, a health issue is really now the dominant factor. And those are the people who see value in healthy products. Right. So the 99% of my, my moms that just want to get in shape after baby, myself included, didn't, I didn't care. Like I didn't care what was in Shakeology. I just wanted to lose the weight. <laughs> and now I see value in everything that I put in my body. So that is, Oh, oh Shay Stanford. Yeah, yeah Shay. I do like Shay because yeah, she's very. That's, um, maybe that's where I heard it. Shay yeah. is very factual. I like that she gets in the science behind mm -hmm. Shakeology. So, um, but yeah, I I didn't care so much about nutrition, and so, so so a lot of times with the mom, I don't. I I can sell them on the you know Shakeology benefits, but they'll just find out on their own yeah. once they invest in the product for weight loss reasons. So everybody has their own motivation. You have to find that from them. It cannot all be about weight loss, and a lot of it is about. Con and I use a lot of my professional changes in my story now because through losing weight and gaining confidence in myself, I change careers. I'm much happier now in my full time job more confident in my ability to do crazy things, you know, like in both avenues. So I think that's something that if that's important to you to connect with, I know with the stay at home moms that uh, Lindsay, this is part of your story. I wanted to be home with my kids, but I needed to connect and, and be a part of society, right? Like I didn't yeah. want to be a stay at home mom who wasn't bringing something to the table. So that there are plenty of stay at home moms who want to work, mm -hmm. but they don't want to be out of the house. So that is a great connection point mm -hmm. for um, grandmothers who are trying to chase around little kids and need energy. I'm actually amazed at the number of people who reach out to me and they say they lack energy, right? Yeah. So use it, use whatever they tell mm -hmm. you because that's meaningful to them and you have a solution for it. Like there are very right. few things with, uh, with Beachbody that you can't solve unless it's like truly a deep medical. Well, and if you can't personally connect them with someone or if you don't know somebody, that's what our team group pages are for mm -hmm. you guys. Post your question there. You know, I've done that many times. And someone um, that was saying that even like size and um, Pio were, was giving her knee issues. And for me, I couldn't quite understand that because I always thought Pio was low impact and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff. So I posted the question in our, in I think it was Melanie's dream team page, and I had some very helpful responses that yeah. I then was able to relay to her. 
So if you can't think of a solution, someone else will. That's what our team group pages are for. So um, the, the only other thing I want to talk about is just closing, right? So now you have more, and, and this process can take a month or two months or three months. And you do need to move on and you have two choices. You can come back to them later. So there are people who I left very, very warm that I'll come back to. And there are people who I like that I don't stand a chance. And then they come back to me three months later, right? Mm -hmm. So you have to come back and close. Like you have to come back and say, I am so excited to start my next challenge group and I want you in it. Are you ready? Get them to say yes. At this point, you have not discussed price unless they're adamantly talking to you about it. And then again, you're selling the value. You're telling them the value of the product more so than you are the price of the product. So, okay, so here's what's great. You get this, this, and this, and month of Shakeology and containers. And then they're like, okay, how much is it? It's like, it's $140. A lot of people have told me, I thought you were going to say $500, <laughs> right? Yeah, and that's why you can't bring your own prejudgment into right. it. You really can't. You can't be afraid to talk about that. And, and I will then shall, shall share my story of how we gave up eating fast food at lunch every day. I stopped going to lunch with coworkers and losing an hour and a half of my day and eating a thousand calorie lunch out and spending. If you're sitting down at a restaurant, that's $17 easily. So I share my story about how I made smarter decisions. I don't do a $6 coffee on my way to work. Or that 600 calorie Northern Lights caribou, although they are delicious. <laughs> um, I just tell people I, I make those decisions not to do this, and I, I put my money into something healthier. Mm -hmm. And they have to make that decision then for themselves. And, you know, for some people, they're like, whatever. It's 100 bucks. For some people, it's the end of the world. Mm -hmm. you, that's the part where you can't – you can only – share with them what they will get as a return on their investment. And mm -hmm. as a very last resort, I'll use the 30 day money back guarantee and I will follow it with, I've not had one person use it, but I know that it, that yeah. it's, it's very for easy a to do. And it's because Beachbody has all the ultimate confidence in what they have mm -hmm. to offer. And so I kind of put that out there too. Yeah, I, do, I will offer it later, yeah. but I, I don't want it to be like, in hey, no, a 30 day money back guarantee. Oh, I think yeah, it sounds, sounds weird, salesy. but I do wait to the very last minute. I'm like, hey, I get your hesitation. So mm -hmm. this is But there's no risk. Yeah, so it, it's no a risk. reassurance point. Yeah, so you do, you have to come back and you have to know where you stand with a person. If they are being wishy-washy, then you need to get to a point where they will either tell you no or not right now or I'm not ready yet, or yes, right? Because then you know what to do two weeks after that or a month after that, which is to go back to them or don't. Yeah. Right. And, then and actually a no is very helpful. A no is more helpful than I don't uh, know. than crickets or a wishy-washy answer. Because if, it, if they say no, then that's a conversation starting point where you can say, oh, you know, like, you know, you can just ask them a little bit more about the reasoning why they don't think it will work for them or – don't be afraid to um, ask why, because oftentimes I have found out that when I do press them a little bit as to the reason why not, their their reason is completely unfounded. <laughs> like so, then I kind of use that information to say, well, hey, wait a minute, that's not entirely correct, and I don't say it in that language, but a lot of times they are just misinformed. So. It's a, good, it's a good opportunity for me to either figure out what their apprehension is or kind of turn it into um, just like twisting the conversation to a onto a different path. Well, and I'm counting here. I've asked my team, and I know, Lindsay, you've done your list. Good job. The rest of the team beats trying to do this. This is my list. It's, it's carried over onto the back page, too. So if they tell you no... I have 25 other people that I need to follow up with. Mm -hmm. It's okay, right? Mm -hmm. And if I have 25 people, that's 50 success club points. Let's assume 50% of them give me the crickets, mm -hmm. okay? So there's 25 off the table. Let's assume that 50% of those flat out tell me no. Mm -hmm. I'm, I still have 12 success club points that I can get. Right. It's right? a numbers game. Yeah. It really is. You cannot, you cannot count on three people and work those three people all month and expect a hundred percent rate of return. And that's draining. Yeah. Come and on. it's okay. Like, it's okay. 
Yeah. To, uh, you have to emotionally detach from your numbers. Like you really do. Like you just have to have the, that constant stream of prospects coming in. And this is an entirely separate call. We'll talk more about how to find those new prospects, but that is super important you guys, because if you are putting all your eggs into one basket or you're putting, pinning all your hopes onto this same three to five people, mm -hmm. you're going to be so disappointed. You'll be so crushed when they say no. Right. So you got to get to the point where it's totally okay if they say no. Yeah, no, that is a very true statement. Unless and unless it's your mom, and then you should get your mom to say yes. <laughs> okay, my mom is my first two success club points, and which I which can also be difficult. Yes, yes I know, it's challenging, it's, yeah. but it's the best challenge you'll have, and it's, it's gonna make you stronger. Have. It will make you stronger. My mom is easy though. Like she's a fitness person and she's my biggest supporter. So mm -hmm. she was an easy sell. And she, in fact, I only tried to get her to do Shakeology, which would have been one successful point. Mm -hmm. She's like, well, I looked on there and to get Pio included with it, it was only $10 more. I'm like, I'm a terrible coach. Good job, mom. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, it just, but that got the ball rolling for me. Like her and a high school friend, I got four success club points in my first month. I signed up on like, I don't know, the 16th of the month. And I didn't really understand what it would have meant mm -hmm. to get five in that first month. And it doesn't matter because I got 10 the following month. Mm -hmm. But I was like, yeah, I got four success club points. And then I hit 10 for the next like five months after mm -hmm. that. So it does, you just need to sell a challenge pack. And then you will know I can sell a challenge pack. Mm -hmm. Like if you have to wake up every morning and be like, I'm going to sell I every the first of the month. I'm going to sell five challenge packs today. That's what I tell myself. And then Kim and I, like, it'll be like. The, it'll be like the fifth. We're like, I have zero success club yeah, points. Yeah, we're, like, <laughs> hanging our heads in shame. Like, what? we have zero success club points. But then yeah. they just um, it, Yeah. The compound effect takes over. It all. does. It, it totally does, you guys. This month started out so slowly for me. I was freaking out because I think by, like, the 10th, I had, like, maybe four or five points. Right. And normally I've got, like, success club 10 nailed down by then, but not so much this month, but yeah. So I know we're running short on time. Should we just open it up to questions right now? Yeah. I just want to give that last okay. assignment. Yeah. It's the first of the month tomorrow. Wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to sell a challenge pack today. There is someone who's not traveling for the weekend. There is someone you've been dropping breadcrumbs with. There is someone who's ready to start on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And if you don't wake up and say, I'm going to sell Jane Johnson, a challenge pack today, then you're done. Mm -hmm. Like the rest of your day is you're going to be waiting for Jane to contact well, you. Well, if Jane says no, then you move on to the yep. next person. Then you've got your list of 40. So the beach strong people, I want to see your list. I was not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so good job, Lindsay, posting the list. Um, I want to see it for the rest of you. I just want to see you make it. I don't care if there's five people on it or 50. I'm excited to know that you, because that will get your confidence. To, okay, I'm moving on, right? Yeah. It's definitely. like uh, it's like Tinder, right? Just swipe to the right <laughs> and go on to the next person. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if we have you any have questions. To, oh, do I have to scroll, have to scroll down? down. Do Kansas more? City mm -hmm. summits at nine eight nine to one. Do Got that? More? Oh yeah, we do have more. Oh wait, you gotta go back up. Okay. Oh wait, I think we saw that. Next up is a free group. Okay. And Karen, you're welcome to join ours. If we get ourselves organized, I'll send you some information on it. And Lisa has a free group going right now. So I'm excited to get some tips from her. Yeah. I'll, I'll give you one more tip on free groups, ladies, because your existing challengers will want to join those. And I'm like, that's weird. You're already getting 10 times more out of mm -hmm. the. I'm like, great. It's really kind of repeat information, but I would love it if you would bring a friend who's mm -hmm. not familiar. So that is actually how I start duping into referrals is I only let, I don't say only let, of course I'm a lot of ch paying challenger in, but I really am like, I would love it if you would invite a friend because some of this will be repeat information, but you could really help someone since you're That's a, a good seasoned way to word challenger. Mm -hmm. All right. Any, I saw other questions pop up. Okay. Let me pull up the chat again. Uh, oh, 22, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah. The July promos. Oh yeah. Okay. So it's 20, 21 day fix, 21 day fix extreme again, which is really nice because for me, that's my number one selling program. It's Lindsay's birthday, two months in a row. Yay, Lindsay. <laughs> but yeah, 22 minute hardcore this month. It's not just the sandbag, but they get the, um, the portion control containers along with that. 
So Kim, do you know with that, is it the fixed nutrition plan or is it still the rations plan, but with the containers? Well, you get the 22 minute hardcore plan menu plan with, with the, the containers. Rations. Yeah. Okay. So I do believe it's, it's very, very similar to the 21 day fixed eating plan. I think you get one extra protein. Is that right? Yeah. And then, yeah. Yeah. I got to get I, your insanity. I did the workouts, but I didn't follow the eating plan, but it's, it's basically the same thing. But what I liked about the, the recipes in 22 minute hardcore is they seem to have a lot more flavor, a lot more heat, a lot more seasoning. Um, I'm a big foodie. So I'm like, Oh, these recipes actually sound good and not super bland. So, you know, if, if it's just somebody that wants to change things up and maybe sign up as a discount coach and they want, you know, instead of spending 130 bucks for Shakeology, but to spend a little bit more, they already have 21 day fix or whatever. 22 minute hardcore would be a great sell for them because it's, it's a way to change up their workouts. It's only 22 minutes. It's a great, for me, it was a good way to get my husband involved because he kind of likes military boot camp style stuff. And I'm, I'm just Snapchatting. Sweet. MG's chair to stay. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So 22 minute hardcore is going to be a great sell for your people that already have 21 day fix. Just as like a little added, you know, like here's how you can change things up a little bit in my opinion. Yeah. I like the 22 minute hardcore workouts. I just don't, for me, it was hard to stick to it for the whole, was That's, it? You don't follow a program. I don't. I have a hard, I have, I seriously have exercise ADHD, you guys. Like I cannot. I live and die by that. I have like program. shiny object syndrome. Like, oh, I want to do that workout today. I want to do that one. But um, yeah, I know Denise, I don't know if Denise is on our call, but she has been doing 22 minute hardcore. Well, Lindsay's doing it. Okay. Awesome. So yeah, if, what do you guys think about the program? Lindsay, if you've been doing it, what's your impression? Maybe you can share your thoughts. No, so I really like it. I mean, the moves are, are super basic, mm -hmm. um, but it's definitely very, it's high intensity. Um, I mean, you go, go full force for 22 minutes. So um, it, I wouldn't, I, you know, they say, I think it's for beginners and there is a modifier, but it's one of those modifiers, like kind of like the, you know, extreme where you're like, what is she really modifying? Yeah, it's not mod but so it's kind of like a fake modifier, but they say one's there. Um, but the overall, the, like I said, the moves are basic and simple. It's just very high intensity because you have 22 minutes to just sweat your butt off and make it happen. True. And I have used that selling point too, because if, if you're like me and you have a hard time catching on to more complicated moves, it is super easy. Like you can pop in that DVD and catch on right away. Like everyone knows how to do a jumping jack or like, or whatever. Like everybody knows like high knees. That's not hard to do as opposed to like Pio where you're like Pio cross. Really? Like what's this? Right. Like, beasting. Yeah. That one, I'm like, well, no. And I will say like when I have tried to talk, they're like, well, I need a pull up bar. And I'm like, no, no, no. Like you can modify that. You can do tricep dips. You can use your resistance band. So even a stand bag, like I've just been using my dumbbells. So if people try to say, well, I won't get full results without that. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's horse shit. I think you can still get them just modifying it, doing your own thing. Yeah. That's great feedback. And Thank I have you. to add that T25 is still on promo because <laughs> Sean T's number one fan. He changed my life. Um, but I, if somebody has graduated from 21 Day Fix, I actually rec would recommend T25 because they can follow, they can always eat fixed like. Yeah. But the nutrition plan is really simple. It's like, here's a list of 300 calorie meals, eat five of them a day. It's, yeah. it's a very simple nutrition plan. So that's what, also what I offer people who don't want to worry about eating well. Like mm -hmm. I offer them T25. I'm like, if you can eat clean then and we'll teach you how to do that, then you can do T25 and it's tons of fat burning cardio. So that's the trade off between mm -hmm. like fix and T25 is you're going to jump a lot more, but you can probably indulge a little bit more too. True. All right. So what about this one? So you two have motivated me to start running. So I've been running, you know, don't laugh. I didn't run too far I'm today. I listen. <laughs> but like, listen, I remember, I remember you telling me, listen, T25 will help you. I don't have any shin splints and I'm like running. Good. <laughs> I do tell people who have shin splints to stop running 
do T25 and then go back. It worked. You're right. Like you're a miracle worker. So use it as a selling point. If anybody, if you guys are encouraging anybody to run, which you have um, encouraged me to No, I discourage people to run if they want to lose <laughs> weight because running makes me eat. Oh, it makes you so hungry. I can't follow a meal plan when I okay, run. Okay, I came home and had two sips of wine and a cookie, okay? Because I was hungry. <laughs> she went running. I'm telling you, it's counterintuitive. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but the T25 really did help. Um, Because I keep hearing Shanti said, spread your toes. And then I can keep hearing you saying it's going to help your shins. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because you're just doing. Di- I, don't get me started on like the disadvantages of running. So, but I do. I'm a metal chaser. So you guys know why I do it. I don't do it because I'm at one. I'm not at one with the chirping birds. Like when people tell me they run without music, I'm like, no. I would rather you pull out my toenails one by one than make me <laughs> run three miles without music. So, yeah, I, well, I wish I loved it, but uh-huh. I like the Bloody Mary that we get at the end. Any kind of free drink or metal or T-shirt. Kim and I could yeah. not <laughs> communicate with the human language after the marathon. Oh, yeah, We still crazy. drank our free beer. It was like, I don't even want this, but I'm not – Wasting. You can't turn down a free, a free beer. beer. <laughs> we ran 26 freaking miles to get our to free get this beer. beer and this heavy ass metal. Yeah, it, seriously, it was so heavy. We were like, oh, yeah, Kim's like, let's wear it, it around town. I'm like, I can't. I'm too, I'm too weak. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. There's a question about success club points. Um, get them. Yeah, that's the answer. Yes, get them. Get them. But no, technically, I believe you can only have two success club points per person so if they convert from a challenger to a coach you get two more yeah but oftentimes i don't think you're supposed you to. you are the, the rule book says okay you can well, get you know you more than i get even. two from a customer and two when they convert to a coach okay no problem i i thought it was yeah occasionally if someone buys a challenge pack and nine months go by and they buy another challenge pack you, they will award you two challenge two success club points, and I've actually never had them take them away. Oh, so okay, that's however, they have a right to because they say that you're only allowed two from a customer and two from a coach. That makes sense. Yeah. So I will a lot of times. So this is the beauty of Twenty One Day Fix. You maybe you sign them up with Twenty One Day Fix in July, and you get two success club points. Then in August, when they're ready to move on because they've done a round or maybe two rounds you can convert them and get two more success club points from them in August. Okay. So that's a good way to get more success that. clubs. I, I need the points, so I know yeah. how to get them. Okay. <laughs> they just fall in Kim's lap. But no, no, they do <laughs> no, not. They don't. They Mm-mm. do have to I work, work very my butt off. Yes. Okay. It's getting late, you guys. Anyone else have any questions? Um, what is it? No points taken away from Lindsay. Yes. No headphones in triathlons. No. Well, not if you're swimming. You can if you're a runner. I've done a re- a triathlon relay and I was the runner. And 99% of races tell you not to wear headphones and I can tell you. And everyone does. Everyone does. It's hard when you're swimming though, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> that is the point where you might want to ditch the headphones. Yeah. So, but yeah, good luck with that, Lindsay. You're crazy. Maybe that's what we should do next. Mm. Mm-hmm. No, those are, I don't. Yeah, I could. Do, I'm okay with you saying no. Yeah, okay. triathlon not my deal. Yeah, because we have to bike. I don't like. I don't like swimming in the cold. Okay, you're such. I, a, I'm a baby. Yeah, really. We can do an indoor triathlon. I can run 26 miles, but don't. Put but I can't swim in, in a pond. <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, you guys, we're getting a little silly. Here. Okay, let's right. We're Kathy and Hoda. Ah, yeah. thank you. Penny loves you. Because yes. Stacy's not here. I do, yeah. I don't. I have enough things that hang on me every day. Yeah. Penny needs to. Everyone needs love. Okay, you guys. I think with that, should we wrap it up? Yep. Go wake up tomorrow and name the person you're going to reach out to and sell a challenge back Yeah. To. Do it, you guys. It's not that hard. People are waiting for you. For real. That is true. For reals. You'll be amazed. Okay. And you got to keep doing it because they will not, doesn't start like the first month. Yeah. They'll reach out to you nine months later and say, I'm ready. Yep. Okay, guys. Okay. Have See a good you night. Next call. Bye. Cheers. <laughs>